and thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Katy Uriarte. School districts all across Texas are welcoming students back to the classrooms, even as the Delta variant drives a statewide surge in COVID-19 cases. Tomorrow, all of Corpus Christi's ISD's 36,000 students will return to class in person. Our Greg Chandler is live outside of Mireles Elementary on the city's south side. And Greg, CCISD's plans have really remained the same despite the surge in cases. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Katya. The district put out its first day plans today and no major surprises. Everything according to what they had been saying all along. And tomorrow morning, this parking lot here at Morelos Elementary is going to be packed with parents and students as they come back for the first day. But earlier today, I spoke with a parent from another ISD, one that's already been open. And she says she can't understand why kids are being forced back into in-person learning with masks only being optional. I worry for my daughter every day. I worry for all the kids. Nina Reyes' daughter, Rihanna, is an eighth grader at Toloso Midway Middle School. TMISD went back to school July 14th, just as COVID-19 cases started surging statewide. Within a week, we saw 70 cases uh, today, this morning, I read it's 185. I mean, how high, how high do they want it to go? Toloso Midway ISD's website reported 185 COVID-19 cases between August 2nd and August 8th, 64 at the middle school. It's Reyes can't understand why other districts aren't seeing the numbers out of Toloso Midway and going back to remote learning. What do you think is going to happen to those kids? You know, why? Why are they open? Why can't we just close them like we did before? The bottom line is money. In a statement, CCISD says, quote, at this time, the state is not providing funding for this option, and our large district would not be able to sustain large-scale virtual instruction. Other districts are in the same boat. If it were up to me, I wouldn't send her. CCISD, like Toloso Midway and other districts, encourage parents to vaccinate their kids if they're eligible. Reyes' daughter is old enough, but isn't vaccinated. Reyes says she and her family wear masks and believe they should be mandatory in schools. However, Governor Greg Abbott banned school districts from doing so back in May. Now, the governor's mask mandate or ban on mask mandates, I should say, is being challenged in court. Also, Dallas ISD has instituted a mask mandate ahead of back to schools, and Houston ISD is considering one as well. Here locally, CCISD has no plans of instituting one right now, but they say they will inform parents of any COVID-19 cases on any of their campuses. Reporting live at Mireles Elementary, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News. Right. It's not mandated, but they certainly highly encourage it uh, for parents to send their kids with a mask if that's what they choose. And listen